On this week's edition of Success Factor, we feature Danson Moshemi, the CEO of electronic payments platform Jumbo Pay. Moshemi started his company in a cyber cafe 10 years ago. Jumbo Pay now occupies the same space that the cyber cafe once sat on, except the firm has expanded to the entire 12th and 13th floor at Viewpark Towers here in Nairobi. Life of a CEO, basically. Yes. Uh, so you come in at what time? I'm here at uh, 7, 7.30. When you leave, right? Sometimes 10, 11. It's also not unusual to leave at past midnight sometimes. Danson Moshemi founded Jambo Pay a decade ago. He was 24 years old at the time. His first office, two leased computers at a cyber cafe for which he was paying 4,500 shillings monthly. We did not have capital. So I realized or figured out that uh, to start I needed to get a computer, I needed a desk and I needed internet connection. And so. I walked into a cyber cafe uh, here in uh, View Park Towers and rented uh, one computer for 4,500 shillings a month. So basically our first office for six months was in a cyber cafe. He recalls struggling to secure clients, partners and licensing. The first letter that we did was to the central bank, the national payments division at central bank. And basically what we were doing was uh, or what I did in that letter was a request for their guidance and uh, uh, on and regulation in setting up or trying to set up an online payment uh, gateway. Uh, and uh, so I wrote from that computer, the cyber, uh, seeking for guidance. Uh, the central bank uh, guys, the national payments uh, division, responded in two weeks and they invited us for uh, a presentation. And uh, basically that was the beginning of a journey uh, towards uh, the creation of Jambo Pay. His first break came when a bank agreed to use Jambo Pay as a payment solution. The year 2014 appears to have been a defining one in the trajectory of the business registered as Web Tribe. So we had to shop around, do a lot of presentations to various banks and one bank, the INM Bank. Uh, here accepted to walk us through the journey towards uh, the presentation to Central Bank. At the same time we were running that, we continue to develop our platform and uh, sell uh, to our clients or potential clients. Today, Jumbo Pay employs over 150 people and has a network of 15,000 agents. I started Jumbo Pay when I was 24 years old. And so I have uh, all the belief and faith in young people. And uh, indeed, Jamope is driven and managed, as you can see, by young people. Uh, we, young people have uh, an edge or advantage of that they are strong, they're energetic, they believe. And so that's what Jamope is. We are very innovative, we are very energetic and youthful. And uh, young people want to give solutions. If you challenge young people, uh, to give you solutions, give them challenges, they'll give you solutions. And that's what Jamope is. And uh, that's, uh, of course, we are not going to remain young people. Uh, and so what you are doing about that is uh, through our agency network, we are providing opportunities for agents or agency. Young people out there can join Jamope by becoming Jamope agents uh, so that we keep the fuel or the spirit of youthfulness within Jamope. Jambo Pay is the company that automated a revenue collection for Nairobi County. 2013, the city, uh, I think through support of the World Bank, uh, advertised for automation of its revenue collection services, and we participated. Uh, by then, we had uh, about 1,500 clients uh, on, in our portfolio. Uh, we went through that process and emerged uh, successful, so we were engaged on a five-year contract. Uh, to automate the revenue collection services, uh, one of the toughest and uh, one of the largest uh, projects of its nature in Africa. In fact, Nairobi was and uh, is uh, the first city in Africa to have a cashless, complete cashless platform. The service provider automates payment of parking, rental, permit and land rates. Jambo Pay has diversified into other East African countries and beyond. You can dial star 217 hash 
and walk through the process of paying maybe your land rates, your parking, your various licenses. Uh, we got rent. There are people who are in rental units owned by the counties. Uh, for other services such as uh, tokens, airtime, uh, and other bills, you can dial star 825 hash. You can also download apps uh, on the Play Store, uh, on the iOS, uh, I mean, uh, the Play Store, and, and, and install them on your uh, phone, uh, jump pay apps, and pay. We also go to the web channel that you can uh, go to jumpay.com and pay for the various services there. So you basically would create a wallet or an account, an, a digital account on your phone by dialing a code like star 825 hash. And then that is the account that you can top up uh, through the various means such as mobile money, card networks, banks, or agency networks, and can simply and easily pay from that wallet to the various uh, billers, uh, clients of Jamopi. In all his achievements, his business has had its fair share of challenges. The most recent allegations that one billion shillings was lost through the Jumbo Pay service at the National Hospital Insurance Fund. The, the laws has been our greatest challenge. There were uh, first three years of our existence, we did not have laws that govern uh, or regulate digital payment service providers. And uh, then uh, we moved to this, so in a lot of our clients, uh, a bit of politicking, especially the government sector. And uh, then uh, as, as a business, uh, you, we're, we're in digital space, uh, payments, digital payments. And so there's always the risks of cyber fraud, cyber crime, and so forth. But really the biggest was uh, the policies. Yeah, and the policies um, in the following aspects, first regulation, uh, number two is we do not have really much of protection against, uh, you know, from foreign strong firms that are operating in Europe, US and other markets. Uh, we compete with them here. And um, a lot of times when we try to compete in those other countries, uh, we are not able because there is certain restrictions or there are certain restrictions for businesses in our space to get into those markets. Despite all this, Jumbo Pay has won numerous awards for its innovation in financial services. Uh, we provide our platform or our services, uh, our platform as a service. So we allow that these businesses can use our platform and in return they get to pay us. So we charge a percentage of a transaction or a, every time someone is paying uh, to the various billers or the various merchants or businesses or government organizations using our platform, we uh, charge a small fee uh, that is transactional fee. Yes. The electronic payment platform provided free parking all day on the 29th of April this year as the firm celebrated 10 years of operation. Success is a process of continuous improvement. So if you more so can focus on the weak points, your own weak points, and overcome them yourself, challenge yourself, uh, I think that's a really good success measure and uh, where you have impact, like you do not do it for yourself, uh, where you f see every day you are impacting on someone else and more people every day than yesterday, uh, that's a good measure of success. The firm has also partnered with the Kenya Forest Service and Kenya Red Cross to plant 1,000 trees at the Ngong Forest as part of the company's celebration.